Remember, it's cold. Well, we were supposed to be done combining by now, but this happened. Actually, that picture was taken at college. Uh, it wasn't quite as bad here, but um, well, the snow finally melted and we're able to get going again. So we don't have a whole lot left. We have this farm, which actually it's only part of a farm. There's about 38 acres left. This is actually the field where, that we tested the John Deere 8RX in. So we have this, and I think it's just organic. There might be one other farm too but not a whole lot left, so hopefully we'll finish it this weekend. So the reason we had to stop for the snow for two, three days there is because the snow here in the Midwest is so, you know, actually Southern Minnesota especially, the snow is so wet and sticky that it just clogs inside the combine up and then you end up just shooting all the corn out the back instead of having to go up in the grain tank, which is obviously a problem. Plus it gets, you know, because the ground's warm underneath and there's snow on top, it just becomes just a mud pit, basically. So that's why we had to stop for a few days. So, you know, we we're planning to be done by now, but we can't complain because we've had a fantastic harvest so far, haven't been rained out, we ran out one day, never mind. But yeah, just it's been a great harvest, so decided to finish it up today. Actually it won't get finished up today. It'll probably be Sunday. Today's Friday, it'll probably be Sunday. I don't know. That would suck to run over. You know, I know it's not quite Christmas yet, but I got you a gift, Dad. Will I be surprised? Oh, I bet you will. When we get to the other end, you want your stomper back? Do you know where it came from? Probably the corn head. <laughs> I just got the best look. Even though there's only 38 acres left, or there was 38 acres left, this farm still takes quite a while because uh, there used to be an acreage right here. This is all replanted. We took down this acreage this past uh, uh, winter and spring, and uh, there's just a lot of weird rows going every which direction. So, so it takes a little bit because the combine is never you know going full passes. It's always doing these little cuts here and there. And for example. This is straight this way, and then there's end rows going through this way, and then over here there's more rows going this way. Yeah. Well, we got the 38 acres done. It is, what time even is it? 6.50, 6.50, got the, 30, the 38 acres done, and now we're moving on to our transitional farm. So we have about 100, 110 acres of organic, like certified organic, and then we have another farm right next to it, which is like 80 acres, I wanna say. If I'm wrong in that, I'll make a little correction here but uh it's transitional so that means that it's not certified organic yet so we can't sell the corn as certified organic corn so we don't need to clean out the combine or the grain cart or anything because well we're not selling it as organic corn so we're taking that out right now i'm um, kind of curious to see how it's going to yield because it's basically organic corn but we just can't sell it as organic corn so we're going to try and take as much of this out tonight as we possibly can and then uh we'll probably spend most of the day tomorrow and the next day cleaning everything out you know, we're cleaning everything out that the grain could possibly touch. Um, so that way we can uh, combine the certified organic corn. It's supposed to get down about 19, 18 degrees Fahrenheit tonight. So we put some power service anti-gel in the fuel tanks. For those of you who don't, do not know, diesel, when it gets really cold, turns into like a gel. And obviously, obviously you can't fit gel through fuel injectors very well or pump it very well. So. Put a little bit of this stuff in it and just keeps it from uh well gelling up i just like to show this this is kind of neat so this field was you know because it's a transition field going to be organic we didn't spray anything on it so we had to cultivate row crop cultivate in order to uh keep weed pressure down and uh i do not have auto steer turned on as you can see in fact my ab lines are going that way and i have not touched a steering wheel almost this whole pass 
the ridges are so defined from the cultivator that the wheel is just following them automatically. So I'm not steering and I don't have auto steer turned on, it's doing it by itself. Don't know why, I just thought that was kind of neat. Oh, Dad hit a skunk with the combine. Now it smells. It smells real bad, guys. I can't imagine how bad the combine smells. Did you hit another one? Oh, it's so bad. Oh, yeah, I know it smells like skunk over here, too, when it came through. Oh, it's so bad, guys. That's terrible. Did you see one, or just that it smells here? It's, it's like burning my nose. Maybe if I turn the air off, stop blowing air in here. Oh God, gosh, it's so bad. It's not even Halloween yet. I'm not ready for this 21 degree mornings. Anyways, a couple statements. Uh, first of all, I did not think we were gonna continue combines today, but here we are. Uh, second comment is, as of last night, um, just the end rows, and then there's a cut in the field there and this cut here and the cut over there along the road. Uh, the transition corn, which is basically organic, we just can't sell it as organic, is uh, it's doing pretty good. I'm not gonna give you guys a number, but it's we're pretty impressed. And uh, there's one more thing I was gonna say. And I'll remember it later. I remember what the other thing I was gonna say was. Uh, yes, yes I am wearing the same outfit as yesterday. Welcome to being a farmer. One thing that I'm not liking about the cultivated field is how bumpy it is. Even though those bumps are what allow the, uh, the tractor to steer without, I mean, look at this. Sorry, Dad. Okay. There we go. I haven't combined corn in probably a couple years. So some people were commenting in the in my row crop cultivating video about the stand of our organic corn, and it wasn't very good. And I'll admit that. And that was because, well, we planted it with a beautiful forecast, you know, forecast for the next couple weeks. And then like a day or two days after we planted it, we had a five inch rain and organic corn seeds and five inch rains does not equal a fantastic stand. In fact, that's why we had to replant, replant some of the farm. But all in all, it actually didn't affect us too badly, so. Lunchtime. It's actually pretty neat. On cold days like... On cold days like this and, you know, windy days, and my grandpa brings his enclosed trailer out and we eat lunch in there. He has tables set up. It's pretty neat. Um... I hope that cable's not important. Because it's definitely not connected to anything. Two, three, four, five, six. Look at that re entry. Near professionalism right there. 
Well, I haven't filmed in a while because frankly nothing's really been happening. But uh, this is the, uh, the last pass. Well, it's supposed to snow tonight, so we're gonna fit this in the shed, that in the shed, and a little tractor over there in the shed. Well, I was gonna get up this morning and uh, veer it, but I woke up to this. And the ground's warm enough yet that uh, it would just be a slimy mess, it wouldn't work. So, um, yeah, we do still have the true certified organic corn left. So I don't know what their plan is for that. Um, they don't seem too worried about it. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna be at college when they combine that because I'll probably combine it here this week. So I'm gonna end it here. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.